Hey, what's up, everybody? I did a, um, I sent out an email earlier uh, to MMT Trader subscribers, the, the subject of which uh, was, your mind is a trader, not a trader, a traitor, T-R-A-I-T-O-R. Um, and the subject, this is sort of a, well, it was absolutely a mental game uh, email and uh, it occurred to me that it has been a while since I have done a mental game video so I decided to do this so your mind is a trader all right you mind you think your mind has your back uh, but in actuality your mind uh, plays into your fears and your weaknesses and your insecurities all right and we allow that to happen uh, for a number of reasons uh, first off, um, the very primitive part of our mind, the limbic system, which uh, came about, you know, hundreds of thousands of years ago, even before we were uh, homo sapiens or human beings, we were basically animals, was designed to protect us from threats. But it's still there today. It still exists. And it is a very powerful, very basic but powerful part of the mind uh, which is designed to protect us, but the threats that existed way back when don't exist anymore, all right? But we continue to have those responses. We have just transferred them onto other things, and trading and investing uh, really is susceptible to that part of the brain where we perceive threats that are really not there, threats in the market, you know, the market moves. I mean, what is this this game of speculation anyway? Looking at numbers flashing on a computer screen, it's all really a bunch of nothingness. And we create these anxieties and these stresses and these worries um, for no reason at all, really for no reason at all. Uh, so that's number one. We do, we, we have not, uh, most people have not found a way or maybe are even aware of the fact that it's the primitive part of their brains that uh, create their problems in the market or in their activities or their endeavor of trading and investing. And they have never moved on to a higher consciousness, a higher level of understanding, the frontal cortex, the rational part of the brain. Uh, which separates us human beings from animals, right? That's, that's one reason right there, that it is our natural instinct to perceive threat. And since we don't have the threat that we had uh, tens or hundreds of thousands of years ago, uh, we still, it still functions. It's out there like a radar system, like a force field looking around for threats and the slightest little thing. And that threat may even come from really, really silly things like not having the patience to wait out a situation, okay? The threat in the form of, of instant need or instant gratification, we see that all the time. I see people posting up stuff here like when I talk about waiting, they're like, how long do we have to wait? Or it's not good to wait, it's better to get out and do something else as if they know for sure that the next thing is going to be a success, all right? So we've gone all through that, I'm not gonna go over that again. The second thing, reason, uh, or explanation uh, is more, I guess, psychological or emotional. And that is uh, because most people do not live in the self. They live as a person. And let me define what that means. Living as a person, a person is a construct. It's what we have created ourselves uh, ourself to be all right it's the way we project ourselves to others the way we want to look the way we want to appear the way we want to perceive so operating in the fashion of a person which most people do nearly all people do conceals the uh the true self the true individual all right uh, and the true self the true individual those who are stripped of all the externalities and the protections and the layers and, and the falsities and all that, they cannot be swayed. They cannot be um, threatened, okay? They are like light. They are transparent. The threats go through them. They remain focused. They remain calm. They remain uh, 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 sure of themselves, all right? But let's delve deeper into the, the behavior in the form of a person, all right? In psychology, 
Um, it's also often called the ego, this, this um, manifestation of yourself where you want to project an image and it's protecting. It is, it is designed to protect, you know, your psyche, right? Like you want to have this image. Everybody uh, walks around like this. So that thing, because it is an artificial construct which covers up your true self, is very, very uh, inherently weak and vulnerable to attack. Attack from whom? It could, most of the time, be attacked from ourselves. We attack our own selves, all right? Through, uh, you know, allowing insecurities and, and then these non-existent fears these non-existent threats, but the perceiving all the time that there is a threat, oh, I'm going to lose all my money, and I'm never going to, after that, I'm going to be, I don't know what, out on the street, a bum, something, my life is going to be over, like really, really blowing this up. Oh, the market's not going my way, this is a disaster, I'm getting crushed, I'm getting destroyed, and all this language goes into it too. So you have to be able to, first of all, switch off that kind of primitive behavior. You have to strip away the uh, behavior in the form of the, of, of the person, which, by the way, you should do that no matter what, whether your uh, activity is trading or your, your whatever it is that you do. I just think in life, in, in your life, in the way you, you know, carry yourself around and, and the way you behave in your life, you should strip away that construct of a person and try to live in the self. The self is devoid of those protective layers, all right? The self is uh, at peace. The self is always calm. It is always rational. There is nothing, nothing in the marketplace that is a threat or can ever be a threat in the grand scheme of things nothing it's not going to take your life away okay in most cases it's not going to put you out on the street all right you're talking about and you know when i when i listen to a lot of you and i've dealt with so many of you as subscribers many of whom let's say have quit and moved on that that is a classic example of the person or, or of an individual operating in the form of a person which the the quitting and the moving on and and you know, then, then uh, trying to, to knock down, and I'm not saying, you know, I'm just saying that is, um, th that is a rationalization, that is excuse making, that is the protective barriers being kicked in, you know, to work for you, to protect the inner, that, that vulnerability, that ego, you know, yeah, I had to do that because that system was no good. I had to do that, right? The rationalization of the behavior which keeps you from fulfilling or achieving what it is that you are after, right? And it's all about the mind, folks. That's why I say the mind is a traitor, is a traitor. It betrays you, and you allow it to do that. It's not some, by the way, all, exactly. All of this is um, self-determined, okay? It's not like... Somebody comes along and zaps you or plugs you into a plug somewhere and then, you know, you're like a robot and uh, I must behave like this, I must be... No. This is all self-determined. And I would say 99.9% .9 of the people who walk around this world are like this. I mean, we all, not me, but we all act in the... Uh, the form of a person as opposed to acting in the form of the self. Strip away the protective layers, all right? Lose the sensitivity to whatever, to what people are going to say to you, to how they perceive you, to, you know, numbers flashing around on a screen, okay to the neediness for immediate results and believe me believe me when i tell you you not only will you make a fortune trading your life will change for the better yeah your life will change for the better absolutely 100 percent, 1 million percent guaranteed but um you got to make that choice and then you got to make it happen, right? You got to make it happen because I've said it here a thousand times that behavior is habit. 
A lot of times you have the, that bad behavior. You don't even know about it. So the first step is awareness, which I try to provide through these videos. And the next step is changing the behavior, which I teach in my courses and with people who have been with me. And that is, that's a known thing. I mean, I have people, you know, they tell me all the time, Mike, you changed my life. You changed everything by listening to what you said and by applying it. So there you have it, folks. The mind, your mind is a traitor. You got to take it under control as opposed to allowing it to control you. All right. See you later. Bye.